In these problems, we have some pretty complicated looking fractions with um, exponents, rational exponents, like exponents that are a fraction, some of them negative. And we're supposed to simplify these as much as possible and write our answers only with positive exponents. When you do a problem like this, a complicated looking problem like this, it's best to take it a piece at a time. Since we've got um, this fraction, this division problem, I think what we want to do first is make sure the top and the bottom are as simple as they can be. Uh, the bottom here is b to the one third power. That's about as simple as you could make it. The top here, we've got a multiplication problem. b to the 5 halves power times b to the negative 1 half power. When you multiply exponents that have the same base, you just add the exponents. So to simplify this, we need to add the exponents 5 halves and a negative 1 half. Well, 5 halves uh, minus 1 half is 4 halves. So that exponent really is 2. So the top here is b squared. So now we have b squared over b to the 1 third power. So the top and bottom are about as simple as they can be. And really, this is a division problem. This is b squared, I'll write it down here, b squared divided by b to the 1 third. And when you do division with uh, exponents and they have the same base, it's a subtraction problem for the exponents. So the exponents need to get subtracted. So this is 2 minus 1 third. Well, let's see, 2 is 6 thirds. So 6 thirds minus 1 third. So our exponent for b here should really be 5 thirds. And that is as simple as we can make this problem. This is b to the 5 thirds thirds power. Definitely a lot simpler than what we started with. And we've definitely got a positive exponent. So this looks good. Let's try another one. Over here we have x to the negative one third divided by x to the four thirds times x to the one half. Um, on the bottom we have a multiplication problem that needs to be done. And remember when you multiply you add the exponent. So this is really four thirds plus one half. And we need to have common denominators to add our fractions here. We're going to go for sixths. So we'd multiply by 2 over 2 here. That's going to be 8 sixths plus, and 1 half is 3 sixths. And we're going to get 11 sixths. OK, so this bottom part is x to the 11 sixths power. And our top part is still x to the negative one third. Now we've got this division problem. It's x to the negative one third divided by x to the eleventh sixth. And remember, we subtract our exponents. So it would be negative one third minus eleven sixths. So let's convert the thirds to sixths. That would be two sixths. And a negative two a minus eleven. That's going to be negative 13 sixths. So we've got this all the way down to just x to the negative 13 sixth power. However, we're not allowed to write our answer using negative exponents. So let's take the negative sign and apply it. And remember, when you take the negative sign from an exponent and apply it, you just put 1 over what you have there or flip the fraction. So this is 1 over x to the 13 sixths power. So that is a little bit of work with um, some products, quotients, negative exponents, and rational exponents.